It always frustrates me when I see people I care about manipulated. This edition of the Riddler Report is brought to you by PorcupineRealEstate.com So I have this new idea for a line of argument that you could take with someone who's halfway close to you, someone who doesn't believe in freedom. You wait until they spew some piece of information that you know was basically just planted in their mind as some kind of government propaganda. Or worse, pro-government propaganda spontaneously generated by the people. That's the worst Stockholm syndrome thing. But anyway, the one I see a lot lately is, oh, all these evil outlaw aliens are coming into our country illegally. Uh, and of course, there's this perception spewed, sort of a 1935 Kristallnacht type perception that is that is pushed uh, that they're all members of the Latin Kings, right? You know, they're all a bunch of gang-banging, violent people who are coming across the border. Well, my reaction when I see and hear that is one I tend to not say it, but I think it, and the one I think is really more important than the one I say. I see good people being manipulated. And so, so I guess what I should say to these anti-immigrant, pro-government people, but they are pro-government if they want the government to regulate immigration. I think the thing to say to them is, you know, it just, it, it breaks my heart to see you manipulated. You have been sold a fairy tale that has elements of truth in it. The fact that a few bad guys are part of the undocumented alien influx is being used to demonize them all to scare you into giving up more of your freedoms because guess what happens when authorities crack down on aliens and make it harder to get in the country well they make it harder for you to get out or to move around anywhere near the border expenses go up as they waste more and more of your tax money on drones and corrupt border officials and fences and detention centers which are starting to look like concentration camps. A war on illegal immigrants is always going to turn into, already has turned into, a war on people who look and talk like you. Google pastor tasered border if you don't believe me and you need to see an anecdote for yourself that's a powerful argument that you can make against people who have sold their soul for some good idea that they think you should pay for they've been manipulated into it but I think the other one it's almost as good and that I make more often is uh, assuming your idea is good that we should have a police state on the border and e-verify and more and more difficulties, you know, that are imposed on employers and that they have to, mandates they have to follow when they hire someone to make sure they're not brown. Well, even if that were a good idea, which is a big if, is it right for you to force taxpayers to pay for it? That's the argument that turned me into a full-fledged anti-aggressionist. I was arguing with Jason Sorens back around 2002 about the bombings of Yugoslavia. I, I was in favor of them at the time and I'm still in favor of uh, intervention against the uh, the Bosnian Serbs uh, uh, on a personal level, you know, forming militias and stuff like that. I'm just not against, I'm, I'm just against using tax dollars for it. But anyway, back then I was okay with using tax dollars because no one had ever called me on it. No one had ever said, hey, you know, by by advocating this or that policy, you forced me to pay money for something I don't agree with. You stole money from me indirectly. Well, when Jason Sorens made that argument to me, 
it didn't change me immediately. But but I remember I remember responding. Well, you know that is the strongest argument I think I've ever heard about against my intervention uh, support. And, and over a period of I guess about six to nine months, I came to to agree with Jason. Uh, he changed my mind. He was the founder of the Free State Project, uh, and that opened up a whole new can of kick ass. Where I basically became I've become more uh, closer to a voluntarist than he is. Uh, there it is now no government tax expenditure that I will support because he sort of hit me at my strong point the, the one of the things that I was most in favor of that the federal government had ever done he took the legs out from under it this was basically again this was stopping genocide this was shutting down a war with three weeks of limited bombardment it was one of the most effective, well, one of the more effective things that the federal government's ever done. But I can't even support that anymore because it involves the deputization of bystanders, a sort of financial draft. Anyway, just a couple of strike the root type arguments that can be used uh, at your next uncomfortable Thanksgiving. It always frustrates me when I see people I care about manipulated. You're moving to New Hampshire, right? Well, then you'll want a free state realtor who's been here fighting for your freedom for years. Privacy, low taxes, shooting and growing food on property where you want to be left alone. The folks at PorcupineRealEstate.com understand these needs. They have a good feel for urban New Hampshire, too. Check them out. PorcupineRealEstate.com